Hi guys. So we are here um, with a Thanksgiving video. Like I told you guys, I was going to do a little mini series. So I started out with a little haul and now I wanted to go on to um, planning, I guess, kind of. Or getting started. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it getting started. So, I start planning for Thanksgiving probably once October hits. And that gives me enough time to not have to stress out and run around like a nut and all that stuff. So, I have these Thanksgiving checklists that I printed out a couple of years ago. And these are actually really helpful. I definitely recommend printing one of these out or making your own or whatever because these are these are really helpful. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, I have here's this one I believed I I believe I used last year. This one's from MarthaStewart.com. And it just gives you um, early November, which is a little late for me, but it just gives you the steps, choose a menu, um, order your turkey, and then you got four days before, two days before, and one day before, and Thanksgiving Day. So the problem with that one was, well, it doesn't have everything I need, and the dinner, the way that this one's planned out, the dinner's really late on here, and we have our dinner I guess kind of early. I mean, I always thought Thanksgiving, it was normal to have the holiday dinners like around one, but I've been hearing a lot that people have them later now. Oh, Dave's calling. Hang on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. That was Dave calling. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I'm, I'm hearing a lot now that people have dinner around dinner time, and that's, um, that's so different to me because we've always had it even when I was younger, between like one and two. So I think this year we're actually having it a little bit later. We might be having it around two. But that's that one. Like I said, there's, there's tons of them. You can find them online. The one that I'm using this year is this. I printed this out, I think, last year. I'm sure you can still find it. It's by pbs.org slash food and this one starts out uh, three weeks out so again I mean none of them seem to start as early as I do so <laughs> maybe I'm crazy I don't know maybe I start too early but it's okay um, I just you know just follow it and just adjust it to how you want so one of the first things that I do is make up my guest list and I usually have a nifty little notebook that I use for the holidays. I have one for like fall and one for Christmas. Because sometimes at fall we do a fall gathering party and sometimes we'll do a Halloween thing and then there's Thanksgiving. So I just like having the notebook that kind of, you know, looks like fall because then I know that's what that book is for. So if I'm looking for it or, you know, everything that has to do with that season goes in there. And I actually had a smaller one last year, and it was very cute. I got it at Michael's in the bins for a dollar. It was the cutest little fall notebook. But I can't find it, which kind of stinks, too, because I would have liked to look at my notes from last year. But this one, this one is very pretty, I think. And I found it at Big Lots for $3, and it's a bigger, so... This will last me quite a few years. So that's what I do is I start out my guest list. And see, my family likes to give me a hard time. They all know that I start planning early October. And I'll call them up or mention it to them about Thanksgiving. And they like to give me a hard time. They'll say, oh, well, that's, that's so far away, blah, blah, blah. Not all of them, just some of them. And to me, it's like, you know, this is my family. They come here every year. This is where they come for the holidays. 
So I don't know what the heck they're thinking about, but okay. And, you know, I'm planning Thanksgiving for 20-something people. It's not too early for me to start planning. So what happens is I either I make my guest list and I contact everybody to find out who's coming. I, for the most part, know who's always going to be here. The people that um, are questionable, I'll either call and try to get an answer from them. If I don't get an answer from them by probably the third week in October, then what I do is I send out invitations. And you can get invitations anywhere. Um, you can get them at the paper store, you can have them made, you can get them online, you can order them online, you can make them online, you can make your own. Or you can find them at the thrift store and consignment stores, and that's where I found mine. I found these probably three years ago at the thrift store. And they're just real simple, little fall themed cards. They're not for Thanksgiving or anything, I just, you know, thought they were fall themed so they would work. So then it just says you're invited and inside I leave a little note for them to with the date of when I need them to get back to me and then I put my phone number and over here it just says hope you can come and it's you know what it's for the date the time place and I just stick some cute little Thanksgiving stickers on just little touches um, the other thing I'll do is I'll write out any special things that we have going on like we do the fa family scavenger hunt, so I would probably list that here. Um, one year we did a cookie de decorating contest, so I put that in there. Um, one year people had to bring pumpkins, so, you know, just basically instructions and what's going on and stuff like that. So that's what I'll do with those. I'll mail those out, and I have the cute little fall address labels, and I just stick little Thanksgiving stickers on it. So, this year, they gave me that whole line about it being too early, but I actually want to... Alright guys, let's try this again. We are now in Dave's office. Because he's home and he's watching TV. So it's kind of loud out there. Let's turn his nifty lamp on. Funny. I showed you guys that before in a video. Oh, it's dusty in here. I need to dust. Bo's outside of the door crying because he wants to drive me nuts. So, back to what I was saying. I believe I was talking about the invitations. And what I was saying was I actually got enough answers back from people that I would send the invitations out to so that I didn't have to send invitations this year. So that was one last thing that I had to do. So that's the guest list part. The next thing that I usually do, which is on this list right here, is order my turkey. And let me see, we are in, I don't even know, close, close to the end of October. So usually that's when I'll order my turkey. Um, I order it from the local meat market. And this year we ordered a 27 pound turkey and a 12 pound. So we're gonna have our regular roast turkey and then deep fry one because Dave's stepmother just bought, well she bought Dave a turkey deep fryer two years ago and we tried it last year and everybody seemed to like it. So. We're gonna do that. You can. The reason it's only a 12 pound is because that's the biggest that will fit in the deep fryer, which kind of stinks because it's not very much for you know 20 people. So um, the other thing on here is set your budget. If you have a budget for Thanksgiving and you know you budget everything out and you shop at like you know you can find really good deals out there like the stores I always go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls you can find 
so many Thanksgiving things or holiday things there for pretty cheap money. And this Dollar Tree and Walmart and Big Lots, all those places sell a lot of this stuff for good prices. And the other thing that I do is at the end of the holiday, I go and I stock up on all the stuff they've marked down to like 75% off. So that's a really good thing to do. This says start checking your local grocery ads, but I think that is stupid because the grocery sales go week by week. So I really don't see the point of checking it until the week of. And then we have plan your menu. So I usually start planning my menu anywhere from the beginning of October to like the second week and I change it and tweak it and add to it and you know take from it and all of that throughout the month. And what I do is I take my notebook and write down our dinner menu. From the appetizers to dinner and desserts. Write down everything that we're having, whether I'm making it or somebody else is making it. And then I break those up. Appetizers, desserts, and dinner. So, what I do then, I will show you. I have some things here from last year. I save my dinner menu and stuff like that from the year years before because well one I put them in our scrapbook but I like to look back too and get ideas from it especially if it was something we really liked so see, this is what I do this was for um, 2011 so I just put how many people we had 19 people that year and then I put everything out like I just showed you in the notebook appetizers drinks oh I forgot to put drinks in the notebook see that's why I save these things so then what I do is I take a highlighter and I highlight the things that I'm making so that way I know just by looking at the list whatever's highlighted is something that I have to prepare and then next to it I put when to prepare it. So this would be the night before, because Thanksgiving's always on a Thursday, right? I think. Isn't that the deal with Thanksgiving? <laughs> so that's what I do. I just put next to it when it needs to be prepared. Prepare Wednesday. Um, Wednesday. See, these I want to make again this year. <laughs> Flavored cheese balls. They were very good. These hush puppies were amazing, too. Um, but that's what I do. So then, you know, I pull this out the day before Thanksgiving, and I look at it, whatever's highlighted, I know I'm making, and whatever says Prep Wednesday, I know that's what I'm working on. And then for the other stuff, I put the person's name next to who's making it. I hope you guys can see this okay. So who's making it or who's bringing it? Like this veggie platter, next to it it says Tony. that's one of Dave's sisters so I know that she was making it and I need to leave a space on my uh, table for a veggie platter so that helps a lot other thing I have here is a holiday dinner timeline and these, this is for 2011 also. But these you can print at um, lifeasmum.com. I don't know what else she has on there. I haven't been on there in a while. But I know this came from there, so. And I believe she has a lot of really good and useful um, free printables. So. so these, this is really good to have. So you fill this all out, and you can just look at this. This helps you with the prep for the night before and then for the day of. 
So see, all I have to do is take this little sheet out and usually, well, we used to do a pork loin and a turkey, but since we got the deep fryer, we do the deep fried turkey. So now up here I've just put Wednesday and over here I put Thursday. I brine my turkey every year. Um, I don't know, I have for probably about five or six years now. Ever since I saw it on the Food Network. <laughs> we really like it like that. So, so this gives you prep and freeze uh, night before in the a.m. So what I do is I cross out the freeze because I don't freeze any of the holiday stuff. So prep, the turkey needs to be brined and it needs to be done the night before in the a.m. So Wednesday morning I know the turkey has to be brined. Prep the baked apples the night before and you know so on. And then on Thursday is what we have. So it goes from three hours down to, um, well, down to serve, but. All right, let's see what we have here. This is 30 minutes before, what was it? Hush puppies, because those had to be deep fried. Let me grab a sip of my water. I still haven't got my full force voice back yet from being sick, which is ridiculous, because I've had this cold or whatever the heck it is for like a month. But we're off the topic here. So that is the deal with this. And I'm telling you guys, these little steps, doing this stuff and planning this stuff out, if you're the one that does the whole Thanksgiving holiday thing and, you know, it's all at your house, this stuff helps so much and it helps with the stress. So, one of the other things I wanted to tell you about is when I plan my dinner menu for Thanksgiving, we usually have all the traditional stuff. So we have, well, traditional for us. We have turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, carrots, you know, all that stuff. But I always make two of everything because some people like one thing and some people like another thing. So what we usually do is... Like we start out with the appetizers and this is going to be the first year I don't do this actually. I usually have acorn squash that are baked and I cut open and I take the, um, the seeds out and I serve the soup in that. We usually have two soups to choose from. And I actually call my guests ahead of time and ask them which soup that they would like. And that's how I do the count for the soup. And that's usually right on their plate at the table setting. So they just take their acorn bowl and they either go up to the soup or I've already filled it. So this is actually going to be the first year that I don't do the acorn bowls. So like I was saying, we have two of everything. So we'll have two soups for them to choose from. And then the appetizers are pretty just, you know, simple. Um, this year we'll do a veggie platter and some little fruit skewer things and that's a whole nother video I'll show you guys all that but when I sit down to do my menu what I do is I pull out some cookbooks some magazines anything for Thanksgiving or fall that I've gotten you know over time um, Dave was sweet enough to get me the Food Network subscription for Christmas one year and I absolutely love it, especially for the holidays. So this one is from uh, 2011. And I used quite a bit out of this. I think one of the things... Oh, okay. So I have them ripped out here because I clip them all together and I keep them in my, you know, stack of Thanksgiving stuff, I guess. So these I made last year. These came out of the magazine. These were all different flavored butters. Those were amazing. Uh, we did enough. Oh, these. These were great. And actually, I really want to make these this year. These are different flavored cheese balls. But the point here is this stuff came out of the magazines. 
Oh, these hush puppies were good too. <laughs> hmm. These came out of the magazines, and then I have like my traditional stuff, and you know, we have cookbooks that I go through. Um, these little books you get at the grocery store up at the cash register. Actually, I got this one just recently, and this has a lot of good recipes in it. See all the post its? It's quite a bit I'm going to use from that. Here's another one. This was from last year. And yeah, we've got here fall bacon. That one's from 2007. So, I mean, if there's stuff in them, if there's a lot of stuff in them, a lot of recipes that I think we will use, then I'll keep the whole book. If there's not, I simply just tear the page out and I put it in my little folder for holiday stuff. So, that's what I do. I just go through cookbooks, magazines, you know, what, whatever. Online, there's so many things online, so many recipes and ideas. Um, one of the places I like to go to is Pinterest. And usually what I'll do is if I see something that I think we might like or that might work for a Thanksgiving menu, I just um, click on it and then I click on it again and save the picture to my computer and I print out the pictures. So that way I have it and I just clip it to my notes or whatever. And usually what I'll do is write the recipe on the back of it. So this this is really this really helps too. See, so these I think I was using this for a fall harvest party one year and I just took the picture off of Pinterest. Sometimes they'll have recipes, sometimes they won't. Um, if they don't, I just kind of go by the picture and wing it. But just write the recipe on the back of the picture. So, and I save them. Oh, here's some more. This is just a cute serving idea. I think I printed this one out last year, too. Well, they used the pumpkins. Yeah, I did, because I did this. I used it for our fall harvest party. But isn't that pretty? You use the pumpkins and you put the plates on top. Oh, there's some acorns that I did not make. These are cute too. Um, but that's the uh, that's the deal with the dinner menu. So so far, that's where I'm at. I have invited my guests. We're almost oh, we're almost done with October. Only a couple more days, and I've invited my guests. I ordered our turkey. I have planned the menu and actually I think that I have it almost finalized. Um, I've pulled out the decorations and I've bought some extra decorations so far. There might be more things I need to buy for our guest. But you guys saw that haul. Pretty much that is where we're at. So we're doing good here. The holidays do not need to be stressful. They don't. Sometimes family will make them stressful, but yeah, that's besides the point. They really don't have to be stressful. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to share this with you. I thought that um, maybe it would be helpful to some of you. And I hope it will be. So I think that the next video will probably be on um, supplies and stuff like that you know. So that's it for now. I'm going to share recipes with you guys and go over our Thanksgiving menu one more time and, and I'll share that in the video too. Alright guys, I'm off. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you don't. Either way. And I will see you soon. Bye guys.